So it looks like we got a total of two slugs and then five good eggs. Are you excited? Yes, very. Yes. We didn't think we were going to get any eggs. No. Like, at all. I'm glad. I'm I know. So, this is really good. Hopefully, this hopefully. is from a banana head pied to our pied male. So, hopefully, we will get... Some banana pieds. Yes. Hopefully. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully they're all banana pieds. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> That'd be some odds, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, all right. Let's get these guys set up. My little end up. Yeah. You ready? Hey, go ahead. I think they'll all just fit like this. Well, so I want to pull this top one off and then we can keep this cluster together. I think we'll be fine. All right, there we go. We have five beautiful eggs. In about 60 days, we will have some baby snakes. Hey guys, so today's very exciting. Don't mind us if we look tired. Um, we just got back from an expo. It has been 61 days since we last put the snake eggs into incubation. And we have a ball python that has their head sticking out of the egg. So I'm gonna show you guys that. All right. Hello. Look at that. It looks like a little, probably banana. banana. I guess it could be a banana pied. I don't know. We just don't know yet. We had we had the possibility of getting banana het pieds, um, banana pieds, yep. pieds, I think, pies. and normals het pied. I believe yeah, that was the odds. Oh, I'm so excited. How do you feel? I want to get them out. You want to get, get them all out? <laughs> no, you have to wait. No. He wants. He has to come out on his own. Hello. That's so exciting. How do you feel? Originally thinking that we weren't going to get any ball pythons this year, babies. Anyways, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> we got one. Look at it. <laughs> we just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> So there we are, we have the first pip on day 61. So once the rest of these guys hatch, or at least during this process, over the next 24 hours, hopefully the remainder of these hatch, um, we might go ahead and just do a little slit in some of these and yeah. cut them. Um, we don't like to cut eggs um, we until kinda, Yeah, we always one... try to wait until at least one of them, yeah. you know, pips, and then we'll... And then we'll, we'll normally the do a little bit. Like a little, um, just to Kind of help give them, them out. We know that it's about time, so we like to help yes. them out a little bit. So yeah. We will see you guys once they are all out or when one at least entirely comes out. Yeah. This one hopefully is the first one that will entirely come out of the egg. Sometimes though, they slit the egg and come out right away. So mm -hmm. we will see. It's been probably, I don't know, close to 24 hours since we last checked. So let's go ahead and open this up and see who has decided to come out. Oh, okay. There's one. Very nice, a little banana. Hep pied yeah ball python and is it this one that it came out of probably that's the one that was poking out yep, yeah these guys haven't made their oh. way should i pick he's, this one up he's moving. he yeah, might he be it might be a little bitey yeah you never know pick come here up. little guy don't bite me though please <laughs> oh, no no baby look at that Will you just look at it we just look at it, look at it, look at it. We just look at it. All right, guys. So we have one ball python out. We are yep. going to wait for the rest of them. We still have four more that need to come out. We'll leave this other ball python in here um, while we wait for its siblings to come out. I believe we only got bananas. It, it, that's what it looks like. Yeah. It looks Probably like we got banana, banana pies. Banana pies, but I mean, I, I guess it kind of... It looks like we only got bananas. Time will tell. We which like is to, better. We're going to kind of just wait to yeah. see and let them do their own thing. Kind of We did the slits to help them out a little bit. We know it's time, so we're going to mm -hmm. let them come out on their own and yeah, just... 
we're gonna wait and see hopefully yeah. we get some pies some banana pies um, that was that's what we were hoping that's for, what we were hoping so. for but right now it looks to like just bananas but i mean that's awesome too yeah um so, so this is actually fun fact for you guys this is actually our second ball python clutch yep. that we've ever hatched um the ball python projects that we've been working on have been very slow moving um normally when we work with a species we like to try them out first grow them out yep. um and then you know if we decide that we like it and we're like okay yes this is definitely something we want to do um after we hatch a clutch then you know then we go full force and then we're like okay let's let's focus our attention on mm -hmm. this and so we do have you know our our ball pythons will be kind of slow moving in terms of like project standpoint mm -hmm. um because that's what we did and i like doing it that way we should over the next yeah. few years have um some more clutches um at least it's like volume we won't just have like a single clutch for the year like last year we had a single clutch this year we had a single clutch um, we were technically supposed to have two clutches this year, but just how things work out, you know, um, it's not always perfect and your animals don't always breed and don't always produce when you want them to. And that's okay. That's part yeah. of what we're doing here. That's something that we have to learn to work with. Um, and you have to be okay with that when you work with animals. But so this is really exciting. We will check back in when all of them are out. We'll see you guys we'll see here. You for you guys, it'll be instantaneous. For us, it'll be probably another 24 hours. You guys in a minute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have some good news and a little bit of bad news. But we'll start with the good news. The good news is, is the last of the ball pythons have finally emerged from their eggs. And we now have a total of four ball pythons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got a total of three banana het pieds and one normal het pied. So that's pretty good. Um, we were hoping to get some banana pieds, but we didn't hit that this time. But next time, hopefully we will. The odds were semi in our favor. We did get three yes. bananas, het pieds, <laughs> and yeah, one normal. Yeah. So. Yes. Now okay. for the bad news is one of the babies mm -hmm. failed to make it out of the egg. Um, it was really underdeveloped compared to these other ones, and we're not too sure why. Um, but, yeah, that's the bad news. One did fail to make it out. We're not going to show you that one. Um, but, yeah, we got four beautiful snakes out of this clutch. Five fertile eggs laid, and four of them made it out. So, that's awesome. But, yeah, Shaking some beautiful babies. These are the last two to make it out. The other two are already in their enclosures. Um, waiting to go through their first shed mm -hmm. and we actually need to check because those may have gone oh, through. I just checked. Don't we? Oh, you did? Yeah. They haven't gone through their shed yet? No, they no? Okay. Well, we're waiting for them to go through their shed then. So, yeah, this is the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. We're really excited for our ball python uh, projects to take off mm -hmm. and this is kind of just the beginning last year and this year. Mm -hmm. So hopefully next year we will have quite a few more pairings. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you in our next video. Yeah. So, bye. <laughs>